You guys like this little situation happening here? Bye below, giving me everything I could ever want. Isn't it so cute? I'm such a hippie. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Deja. If you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, hey, thanks for stopping by. So, it's that time again. It's the second month of 2018, which means that we're gonna be breaking down some of the best music of February. Y'all, welcome to the beats of February. Ugh. This month gave us so much to work with, and I'm so happy to be breaking down some of this music for you. So without further ado, let's get into the best music of February of 2018. But before we get on down to today's video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, guys. That helps me out so much. Also, do not forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Also, click the bell so you don't miss out on my post. And if you want to follow me on all my social media, they'll all be right below me. All right, let's get into today's video. One of the first EPs slash albums that came out this month that had me shook to my core was Madison Beer's As She Pleases. If you guys aren't aware who Madison Beer is, she's like a social media influencer. I think she was a YouTuber. And she's one of those girls that you'd see on Instagram that does like covers of like different songs. When I saw that she released um, an EP, I was very, very surprised. I thought she was just gonna stick to, you know, what she knew. But um, I really think that she's super talented. She has a really cool, sultry, soulful voice and As She Pleases really did highlight a lot of her talents. Some of my favorite songs from there were Home With You, um, Dead, um, Teenager In Love, and Tyler Durden. This whole EP is 100% 10 out of 10, would recommend, go listen to it. But Madison Beer did that, I think she did an amazing job. This album was like so, like you can tell this girl went through heartbreak and like she was in a relationship that was just going in all different directions that it was emotionally draining felt like she didn't have a voice or like she felt as if like this relationship was like physically and emotionally draining her this ep was so good and i'm so excited to see what she does in the future so i really really enjoyed as she pleases y'all hide your kids hide your wives hide your side hoes hide your girlfriends five seconds of summer release a song, a new song after two years of going ghost called Watch You Back. And I just, ooh, they matured so much. And with Watch You Back, I could hear a lot of different influences. I heard a lot of like The Cure. I heard a lot of influences from like Tears for Fears and Lana Del Rey, like all like mixed into this song. I am so excited to see where they go with this because they already sound so much more mature and their sound is just so like, it's so like sultry and like Callum on that bass. Oh my lord! I am just excited. I'm very excited to see where they go with this. But Want You Back is definitely on the top of my list. And Five Sauce, welcome back. Better late than never. While the world was crumbling to bits, you guys just played Ghost. But I'm happy you're back. Don't do that again. Yeah. The next album to take me to another place was Technology by my dudes, Don Bracco. I just... <sighs> Technology is such an amazing album. Some of my favorite songs on there were Pretty, um, Stay Ignorant, um, Everybody Even Though That Was Released Already on Automatic, and Come Out to LA. Don Bracco is an English rock band that I stumbled upon last year looking up, I think the 1975 or something, I was looking in their um, search engine, like on Spotify, I was like, if you related artists, I saw Don Bracco and I saw the like their picture and I was like, oh, they look pretty cool. So I listened to their album Automatic all in one sitting, I think. The first time I listened to it, I listened to it like three times in a row. Like, it's so good. Don Rock is insanely talented. I love them to death. I'm still waiting for them to just actually come out to LA or anywhere in the US. Like, can y'all please? <laughs> I really want to see them on tour. I really, really love Don Franco. So, if you need a band that reminded you of Paramore 1975 and if they had a love child, give Don Franco a listen. Now, this next artist I'm going to tell you guys about have actually made an appearance on my channel before. So, everybody, give a nice round of applause to The Regrets. Yeah. The Regrets dropped an EP called Attention Seeker, and I feel like this EP came at the most perfect time, especially the first song, 
Come Through, which is like my favorite song by them to date. To Come Through is basically a song about like a guy kind of like leaving you hanging and you not like want to deal with his crap anymore. And it's such, it's such a good song and it really got me in my feelings. I was very into it, I was passionate, I was heated, I, I love the regrets. Y'all just come at the right, y'all come at the right time. And the last artist on my very short list this month is Beatrice Miller. And if you guys aren't familiar with Beatrice Miller, she was a contestant on The X Factor a couple years back. Um, I believe she was like 14, 15 around the time. She grew up and she has an album called Aurora, which is really, really awesome. And I actually had the opportunity to go see her at the MTV Movie and Music Awards, I think? The MTV Movie Awards. And I saw her perform um, I Can't Breathe for the first time live. she released a couple years prior and she's just a really 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 talented girl um, I loved SLUT I loved I can't breathe buy me diamonds listen buy me diamonds that's a song I just I'm like little girl you know what you're talking about sis okay I just, mm, you better say that and sweet little unforgettable thing is such a great song it takes it takes all of, like slut shaming that girls would get and like she kind of makes it into like an empowering song and the acronym for slut is sweet little unforgettable thing i thought that was adorable so if you guys are familiar with beatrice miller and you like her or you're not then i highly suggest that you give her a listen but yeah that's it for today's video it's pretty short um there was a lot of music that came out that really caught my eye this month but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And if you did, please make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Also, click the bell so you don't miss out whenever I post. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, they'll all be down below. But until I see you guys again next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.